Hey guys, let's get more news from SAN Francisco 49ers, but first, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave your like. 49ers Arik Armstead gets huge injury update ahead of playoffs, clash with Packers. The San Francisco 49ers are the number one team in the NFC, for a reason. They have one of the deepest teams on both sides of the ball, but one of their key stars, Arik Armstead, has been on the sideline for a few weeks. Head coach Kyle Shanahan spoke on the loss of Armstead, mentioning he's continued to improve toward an active level. San Francisco will play its first playoff game of the season on Saturday against the Green Bay Packers. He would have gone against the Rams if we needed that, said Shanahan, per David Bonilla, at 49ers Web Zone. That's why we were really pumped that we were able to get that, the top seed, so he didn't have to go, in Week 18. Niners general manager John Lynch commented on Armstead's availability and his importance to the team's success. The 49ers have the Super Bowl in mind and nothing else. They've had the pieces to compete for a title the past few seasons, but continued to fall short. An NFC championship isn't enough for Lynch's squad in 2024. San Francisco needs to hoist up the Lombardi to call this 49ers season a success. With a player like Armstead, he can bring a boost, in terms of production and experience to help the Niners get to that level. Yeah, it's looking like that, said Lynch. He's had really good practices here in the last week, before we went on our little weekend getaway. And then, coming back here today, he was out there in a limited fashion and did really well. So Arik, that would be a big boost for us. We're a better team when he's out there. San Francisco 49ers, Kyle Shanahan heaps major praise on Joe Barry's defense after Green Bay Packers' wild card win. San Francisco 49ers coach Kyle Shanahan is impressed by the improvement the Green Bay Packers' defense has made under defensive coordinator Joe Barry over the past few weeks. The Packers finished the 2023 regular season with a below average total defense, ranking 17th in the NFL. Nonetheless, that porous wall was nowhere to be seen in the wild card round against the Dallas Cowboys, as they made life hard for Dak Prescott and company en route to the 48-32 win. While the Cowboys scored 32 points, they weren't able to get anything going offensively until garbage time in the fourth quarter. Through three quarters, Dallas scored just 16 points while the Green Bay offense led by Jordan Love and Aaron Jones already pulled away with 41 points at that point. The Packers picked off Dak Prescott twice and sacked him four times, all while protecting their own quarterback in love. The Green Bay offensive line didn't allow a sack and even paved the way for 143 rushing yards. Speaking to reporters on Tuesday, Kyle Shanahan was asked about his assessment on Joe Barry's work on the Green Bay Packers defense and how it looked against the Dallas Cowboys. Sure enough, the San Francisco 49ers head coach didn't hold back in his praise noting that they are extremely sound. Shanahan particularly noted that the Packers' defense getting healthier is a big factor as well, and it's something he and the 49ers need to be cautious of when they meet in the divisional round. They looked real good versus Dallas. I haven't got to watch much of them until these last 10 days and obviously picked it up a lot more these last two days. I think they're a very good defense. The numbers don't always tell the truth, Shanahan said of the Packers' defense, per 49ers' web zone. They had a couple games that got some cheap yards, but they're good in the run, good in the pass. They can get to the quarterback. They're extremely sound. They're getting healthier. A ton of respect for Joe. I got to work with him my first couple years of my career in Tampa. He's been involved in a number of different defenses, played against him a few times with the Rams. Then in Green Bay, his scheme just keeps getting sounder and better. If the Packers can replicate their recent success against the 49ers, it's not hard to see them pulling off an upset. Sure enough, though, Shanahan and company will do their best to prepare for that challenge. PFF thinks Baker Mayfield is a free agent the SAN Francisco 49ers should pursue. It seems very likely that Mayfield will remain with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but in the event he hits free agency, the SAN Francisco 49ers should be the first team to pick up the phone, he writes. While Mayfield hasn't lived up to his status as a former number one overall pick, 
he's back to the level he was in his second and third seasons with the Cleveland Browns, earning a PFF grade of 74.6 with 25 big-time throws and 24 turnover-worthy plays. In the 2023 regular season, Mayfield rebounded in the league in 2022, spending time with the Carolina Panthers and Los Angeles Rams, but revived his career with Tampa Bay this season. The Bucks didn't have high expectations in the post-Tom Brady era, but Mayfield defeated Kyle Trask as a starter and led them to the playoffs, and they will face the Detroit Lions on Sunday. Mayfield threw for 4,044 yards and 28 touchdowns this season and threw for 337 yards and three touchdowns in a wild-card round victory over the Philadelphia Eagles. Pittsburgh's former division rival with the Cleveland Browns would be an upgrade at quarterback for the Steelers. The question is whether the Steelers want to end the Kenny Pickett era without giving him a chance in his third season. Pickett played just a game and a half before he was injured after Pittsburgh fired former offensive coordinator Matt Canada, and he ended up losing his starting job after Mason Rudolph played better than any Steelers quarterback in years when he took over in Week 16. This doesn't he happen. It doesn't seem like a move Pittsburgh would make to bring in a veteran outside starter, but Mayfield would be an upgrade over the version of Pickett we saw in 2022. I'm not ready to rule out Pickett completely yet but if the team does keep him as the starter, he will have to show real growth under whoever Pittsburgh hires as its new offensive coordinator. If he is unable to do so, the team will look for his replacement internally or in the next offseason. Pickett can't afford to struggle like he has this season, and those struggles could end up costing him his job if the Steelers look for an outside solution like Mayfield. And you fan, what do you think of the Baker Mayfield situation? Leave your opinion in the comments.